group discussions group discussions are very often used by the human resource team in order to understand the communication skills of a set of people who would have qualified in their aptitude test and so on and they want to make a selection of these kind of people they want to check their leadership skills and to take those candidates who you know are good in communication as well as they demonstrate leadership skills and who are team players these are things that people look for in a group discussion so it primarily it evaluates one's ability to talk in a team group behavior and shows responsibility and coordination one if one demonstrates responsibility and coordination then chances are that candidate is the right person for the company what is the technique used in group discussion normally it's a group of 8 or 10 that's a manageable group they sit either in a semi circle or in a circle there is no leader in the group it uh, the session goes on for 10 to 30 minutes a topic is thrown and anybody could start and uh, there is a facilitator who could intervene in order to facilitate the whole thing but there are people who are facilitator is an external person and there could be a person who is evaluating how each person is doing as far as talking for or against the topic or discussing the topic is concerned quality is looked for in group discussions there are certain qualities which are looked for during a group discussion they are leadership qualities amidst that 8 or 10 how are they faring as far as leadership qualities are concerned taking initiative who takes the first call among the 8 or 10 who have gathered there for the discussion ability to give direction there are some who can lead the conversation well taking the group along they not only talk they also take others along listening they are good listeners goal to fulfillment they take the topic so well that whatever had to be achieved through the topic is achieved by beautiful way of coordinating talks of different individuals in that group knowledge of the subject matter so it's important that if you are going for group discussions you are a well read person at least on current affairs and the latest happenings that gives you the strength to talk so it's important it's good to have knowledge of the subject matter but you may be caught unaware in that case one needs to be a good listener and then participate analytical ability understanding what others are saying and trying to analyze to see how well it fits into the subject and then moving along clarity of thought one listens carefully and one is clear as to what is required what is the purpose of that discussion clarity of thought sets in conviction and flexibility convinced about what one is saying and the point that one is making flexibility in case there's another point of view understanding that point of view Let's look at what are the do's and don'ts of group discussions. First one, keep it short and simple. Crisp so that people understand and and crisp and simple so that people understand. Follow principles of oral communication. When you're making a verbal communication, use the non-verbal part well and communicate clearly giving respect to others. That is the principle of oral communication. make even contributions make your contribution and give another person also a chance make periodical conclusions to bring clarity to the understanding which shows that you are listening well that you are understanding the topic well you are also helping conclude it also shows leadership skill be deliberate and slow in delivering the points when you are making your point since you are going to make it crisp and to the point it will be well understood adhere to principles of politeness i beg your pardon i am sorry i would like to make a point so take permission give respect these are part of the communication process 
substantiate your point with examples that will be the best thing to do because it will be well bought by the others whenever we are dealing with the subject and you are trying to make a point give an example that will be well accepted what are the don'ts don't speak loudly people who speak loudly people generally switch off they don't listen to the person by speaking loudly doesn't mean that you are making a mark as far as the discussion is concerned avoid taking a negative stance oh i don't think i want to contribute i don't think that person is right that's not correct we need to give respect to everybody's point of view don't provide opportunities for others to talk at your own cost we should not make statements which can cause arguments you know provocative statements or statements which are not correct as far as the discussion is concerned then it can cause others to you know argue don't give the look of a casual approach it is a serious discussion it needs to be given respect one needs to listen one needs to respect the people who are participating and hence a casual approach is not called for shaking of one's legs when listening to the other interactions not a good thing to do stretching of legs in front of the self too much flying of the hands being over using hands overtly this does not imply that you should keep your hands tightly locked and be very stiff that's not required either be at ease it shows confidence and show interest and participate draping the arm around the head of the chair is once again a rather casual gesture these are things we may do unknowingly highly avoidable and we should be conscious that's why we are discussing it